I'm seeing a lot of occult, a lot of witchcraft, even students with pentagrams on their book bags. Um, I'm, I'm seeing that all over the state. I'm, I've heard about that when I was campaigning, but then I'm still seeing that. Since the very beginning, haven't there always been goth kids and Wiccans and whatever else? Is this new? By framing it this way, what she's trying to do really is she's trying to imply that teachers are trying to get students to be witches and turn away from Jesus. It's complete nonsense. You know, the furry movement with the kids dressing up and, and you know, as other animals and identifying as an animal instead of as a human, it's paving the way for bestiality. Okay, wow, that took a sharp right turn. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Why do they always demonize furries? What's wrong with furries? Like, I'm not a furry, but why do they hate them so much? Can't they just leave furries alone and let them live their own lives? What happened to freedom? 